We are with Representative Sharon Wiley from the 49th District, America's Vancouver. I have two questions for you today, and the first one has to do with House Resolution 4634, James Lee Hansen. Now, I know that this is a very special person to you, and I would like you to tell us about him. I would love to tell you about him. Jim Hansen is a fantastic sculptor in bronze. He's also a bit of a historian, a published poet, and many other things. He's in his late 90s. He started his foundry in my district, but he has art at our Capitol, in our museums. He was a professor of art in Oregon for many years. But when I got on the Arts Commission and started looking for people to honor in one of our awards programs, his name came up immediately. And it didn't come up for his wonderful art. It came up for the fact that when he was a very young man and a beginning sculptor, we hadn't built the dams yet. He knew that some of the ancient Native American petroglyphs would either be blown up or buried under the water, inundated. And he and his friend in a boat went out and made castings of over a hundred of these wonderful ancient petroglyphs that are so important to our total culture and our total history here. And that's to me is amazing. And they are being stored at Mary Hill Museum. But I felt that it was really important to honor his work and his foresight in doing this. He is an amazing artist. He's an amazing human being. And he was part of a very big Northwest arts movement. So I did my first resolution to recognize his contribution and to honor him. Now, the other question that I had for you has to do with the Washington Cares Fund. There has been a lot of questions about that, a lot of issues, and a couple of bills were passed. And these were, I don't want to say fixes, but they're reforms. What do they do? Well, it buys us time to get it right. We were the first state in the country to try to address the long-term care problems that we are all going to face in our families, for ourselves, for our friends. And this would have provided the first fully funded insurance program that would give people some long-term care insurance. Most people don't have that. It's not covered by Medicare. Very important. But there were problems and issues with it. And we have delayed its implementation in order to answer those questions and solve those problems, making sure that it's fair and that people that pay into it will be able to get something out of it. We're exempting people like veterans who have other options and may not live in this state when it's time. So we're taking care of everything that people have contacted me about. And I'm glad because this is really important and I'm very committed to it and I wanna get it right. 